a.m. I couldn't fall asleep again. Been overthinking all the little things I've said. I'm sleep deprived almost every night, and I wish that I wouldn't think instead. I know the sun is up and I got things to do, but I don't think about it. Hey guys. If you're new here, my name's Alexa. If you have watched my other videos, welcome back. I'm so excited for today's video because I am going to be unboxing the MacBook Pro. I'm so grateful that I got this gift and I can't wait to unbox it with you guys. Guys, look how beautiful it looks. Oh my God. First, I'm gonna remove this and we're gonna see what comes inside the box. Inside the box, there is this. Yeah, it's like info on it. Wow. The stickers are black. Wait, that's so cool. I did not know that. So it came with the Apple stickers, charging block, the charger, and also a little info on it. And that is all that came with it. So this is how the front looks. I really like it because I thought it was going to be a lot shinier, but it's really matte and I love the black apple sign right in the middle. I think it looks great. Oh my god. This is how it looks. Wow. I love the keys and it is thicker than I would think. Something that I think is important that you guys should know about the charger is that it is not like normal Apple chargers. It's made with fabric, so I think it will last longer than the normal chargers. I'm gonna plug it in because I tried turning it on and I think it's dead, so I'm just gonna let this charge. And it's really cold because it just got shipped, so maybe that is why. So guys, it literally turned on and I unplugged it, but- To use English as the main language, press the return key. Wow. Gotta go with the normal Siri voice.
So that was unboxing my Chromebook and setting it up. I literally love it. It's so nice. My like seven year old iPad is nothing compared to this. And I am just so happy that I was able to get this. I can't wait to edit on it and see how it is. So guys, I am gonna customize my MacBook right now. But first I have to see how to screen record on this thing because let me tell you, I I don't know how to work this at all. I think it's recording because like this sign right here, okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to system preferences and I wanna change my wallpaper. Ooh, this one's kind of nice. Oh, and if you pick the dark, interesting. Okay, let's see, are there any really nice ones? That's it? Oh, I can put a photo. Mm. Well, I think I'm gonna go with this one. That will be my desktop. Go to system preferences and go in the dark and menu bar. And let's see the size. Okay, I think that's good. Okay. I know some people like magnification, so when you go, I'm just gonna lower the magnification a little bit, like here. Oh, that's like nothing. Uh, okay, that's pretty cool. And then, oh, that is so weird. Okay, I think the bottom looks the best. I do want to, how do I delete them? I want to remove and arrange them, but I just remove it like this. And I don't want this here, so remove. Podcasts, remove. News, no thanks. App Store, I'll keep their system preferences. It's important. This, I want it over here. And I think I'm going to keep it on the right-hand side over here. There we go. And then I'll keep messages next to that. FaceTime next to, no, I'll like do it like that. Perfect, mail. What do we need maps on the MacBook for? I don't think I need that. Calendar, pretty important. Chrome, yes, I don't want it. Contacts, I don't need that. Let's remove. Reminders, we have notes. Apple TV. I do have free Apple TV for three months, but App Store and System Preferences. So that is how I'm gonna rearrange my dock size. I just keep my most used on the side because I think it's the easiest just to click over here. Or it could be on the side, like literally you just have to drag your finger, not that hard. And that is what I do on the dock and menu bar. I do wanna do widgets. So these are my current widgets right now. And I don't like that. Edit widgets, there you go. Okay. I don't like that. I do know you can make cute widgets with, if you download something, so I'm just gonna download it right now. It is called Flip Clock. Just download it on App Store. And Flip, I'm pretty sure Flip Clock just has like really cute, um, like widgets that you can put on your home screen, which I, I'm gonna get that one. And then I'm gonna get color widgets. And if you're wondering where I'm looking, it is this like digital iPad kind of thing that I wrote all the stuff I wanna do because I don't know how to use this. Like I didn't even know how to make, I don't even know how to make folders because I use an iPad all my life until I got this, so. And then there are color widgets, which makes everything like so cute. And I feel like I'm just gonna like nice like like to open this and it's gonna be cute. And I'm gonna get this one and this one and see which one is really nice. While those download, I'm gonna go to system preferences general and I think I'm gonna do auto because I like the appearance. So during the day it's gonna be light and during the night it's gonna be like dark with default browser. I think I'm gonna default it to Safari because Chrome has been annoying me recently. And then prefer tabs and full screen, okay. Dock and menu bar and clock is here. Um, what is this? I don't know. Show date, always. Show days of the week, yes. Is it 24 No. Show AM and PM. Oh, show time with seconds. 
And then I'm gonna go to the battery so I can see the percentage. Okay, that's gonna be so much better. Okay, so that was like all of the things that I wanted to customize with the MacBook. And now I can see the seconds perfect. And now I hope this stuff downloaded. And we'll see by trying to make some widgets. Clock, wow, wow. Okay, this is the classic. I am gonna do a black right here on the top. And Ooh. Oh, I have to set it in my app. Okay. I, I downloaded, I think, the same app. Okay. Ooh, wait. These are so much cuter. Oh. Hmm. Well, I don't want the pro. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This is the one. Okay, so I'm going to set widget. I'm just going to exit out and see if it worked. I'm going to edit my widgets. And yes, look at that. This is beautiful. Get this out of here. I am going to add another one because it's so cute. Photos. A nice photo to brighten up the mood. I don't like any of these pictures. I like this flower actually. You know what? Why not? Set widget. So now I'm just going to go on widgets, edit. You just literally have to add another one of these in. That's the only way. Oh, wait. I think I'm going to do medium. Yeah. Yeah, but this will go. This will go. And then you just edit it and just switch it for, I believe. Because I just need it. Yes. Oh. Okay. That's so cute. Stop it. Okay. Now I do also want the weather. So, I hope that these guys have something with the weather. I'm gonna do a little battery thing. I think that's cute. Set widget. Set as new widget, so that's widget five. This is how my widgets look like. I'm actually gonna add the normal calendar app in here. Like this, and then also the weather app. There we go. These are my widgets. You do not find a happy life, you make it. And I think these are so cute. So I hope you guys liked it. And that was all for my MacBook customization. Um, I'm gonna figure out in the future how to make folders, but that is really not my priority. But I do wanna stay really organized with all my stuff. This is how it looks currently. I love it, I love it. And the widgets look so cute. Wow. I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And have a nice day, everyone. Have a great day. Drink your water. Peace out.